Hi, I'm Nika. Today we will be reading Proverbs 29. I will be reading from a New King James Version. So as we know that Proverbs, we have 31 Proverbs for each day. For each day there is wisdom. Wisdom of the Lord, uh, you know, the beginning of the wisdom is the fear, fear the Lord, fear the Lord. What is fear the Lord? Knowing His, his word, understanding His word, being obedient to, the, to this word in, and uh, just uh, choosing to follow His uh, wisdom and attaining, obtaining His wisdom. And there are a lot of promises in, in, the, in the wisdom of Proverbs. So today, today is September 29th, 2017. And today we will be reading Proverbs 29. And uh, I, I choose the proverb 29 because today is the 29th, just to um, kind of uh, uh, remind you so that we have a book of wisdom. With the whole, everything in the Bible is a, Bible is a book of wisdom in instruction for us. Every scripture, every word is a, is a, a great, uh, is a great um, blessings and wisdom for us. But... Uh, we also have a daily reading, so make sure that uh, I would suggest and I would inspire and encourage you read Proverbs for each day, each day. Uh, just uh, read it and then meditate. Uh, it will take probably you know I don't think it will take you more than ten minutes to read Proverbs. Ten minutes reading the reading the scripture and uh, and and finding a place when God speaks to you through the scripture and meditating on that. It's a great way of living. Because God's word is a living word. So let's just read. The wicked flee when no one pursues. But the righteous are bold as a lion. So we are righteous in Christ. Yeah, we are right. Here's the promise for you. We are righteous in Christ. Jesus Christ clothed you with righteousness. You are holy in righteousness of Christ. Yeah. So here's, here's, here's a promise for you. But the righteous are bold as a lion. That you're reading second, because of the transgression of a land, many are its princes, but by a man of understanding and knowledge, right will be prolonged. So we're just talking about the government. If the corrupted government is the whole thing is goes corrupted, goes goes wrong. If uh, the the if the country is uh, uh, led by um, understanding and knowledge of the Lord. Right will be prolonged. Yeah, a poor man who oppresses the poor is like a driving rain which leaves no food. So oppression, oppressing the poor, oppressing somebody is already poor. It is poor, and I think this poor is in any shape. So, uh, you know, in forms of poverty. Here, uh, here's a, a, a outcomes of that. Yeah, it's like a driving rain which leaves no food. Those who forsake the law praise the wicked, but such as keep the law, contend with them. It speaks for itself, this, this scripture, yeah? You, you would like to meditate, if you would like to meditate more on that, and God will guide you uh, to the deeper meaning. Evil men do not understand justice, but those who seek the Lord understand all. When you seek the Lord, when you read the Bible, he says, we, we, we have the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is understanding of the, the scripture. Underst Holy Spirit is uh, guiding us. You know, he will come and comforter will come and teach you about me. He says, and who about me? Jesus. Jesus is the word. Jesus is the wisdom. So we have a Holy Spirit. We are believers in Christ. We have a Holy Spirit guides and instruct us. Yeah? Uh, we just keep reading. Uh, we seek the Lord and we understand all. We own the understanding and wisdom is giving to us. Better is the poor who walks in his integrity than one perverse in his ways, though he is rich. Yes, it's better that person who has very little but walks in his integrity. He knows he walks uprightly. It's a, that's it's a blessed man. It's a better man. Yeah. So then somebody who uh, perverse his way and and obtain, attain the riches in an ungodly way. Whoever keeps the law is discerning uh, son, but a companion of a glutton shames his father. Whoever keeps the law is a discerning son, 
yeah but the companion of a glutton shames his father so let's just compare with my bible 7 yeah let's just read i will read 29 7. whoever keeps the law is a discerning son yeah who uh who uh uh does the justice you know justice right justice uh justifying the right or the, uh, the righteous and right things in who is condemning the evil mm -hmm. this is this is my bible says about who keeps the law make it make it uh um, right so keeps the law that's mean make it uh, the justice is right right justice uh, but a companion of a glutton shames his father uh number eight one who increases his possessions but uh, ushery and exhortion by ushery and exhortion gathers it for him who will pity the poor. Yeah, let's read my. Someone who. Let's see. Oh, I'm reading the Proverbs 28 actually, not 29. I'm reading Proverbs 20, 29 today. So, uh, 28, I thought 29. So, let's just, uh, let's just read better. Uh, so, even man who, I lost my space, so it is seven, yeah? One who increases his possessions by ushery is exhaustion, gathers it for him who will pity the poor. So here, um, here, as the, uh, if you if okay if somebody unjustly is just taking not paying the wages or unfairly uses and you know that there's like so many uh, ways to be unjust to their to their workers their people who works them and whoever uh, this is he says who increases his possession by ushery and extortion who takes uh, gives uh, like for instance there are uh, investors they want to give you money to those who cannot take the loan from the and they just want to have like 20%, okay, you need to give me 20%. That's how they gain, they know the situation. Mm, it says that later on, those people will, uh, they, they gather everything uh, for him who will pity the poor. So the one who actually live their life to help or to live the, their life to support and, uh, and share. So everything will pos position will go to there, it says. So just, we will learn about that, yeah? So, one who turns away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer is an abomination. One who turns away his ear from hearing the law, hearing the law, hearing the, what is right, hearing what is righteousness, what is kindness, has said, uh, even his prayer is abomination, yeah? Somebody who doesn't, is not obedient to the Lord, is the evil, who does the evil, the, you know, the law speaks to love your God, love your neighbor, yeah? We have this, we're living under this covenant, and uh, in this commandment of the Lord. Whoever who doesn't, even the prayer is abomination, so there's like, prayer is not heard by the Lord, so it's good to, uh, live by faith and know that you're righteous and the fruits of righteousness will come through Holy Spirit and you choosing to do that. Whoever causes the upright to go astray in an evil way, he himself will fall into his own pit, but the blameless will inherit good. But the blameless will inherit good. So don't dig the hole, we say in Russian, don't be healed, the hole, you will fall yourself. So that's how it is. Lord spoke that. This is a wisdom. This is how it goes. The word of God is fulfilled. And um, for us, it's a great lesson to learn. We will not do anything revenge or spitefully do something be just because we have hard feelings about somebody. So the rich man is wise in his own eyes, but the poor who has understanding searches him out. So, it's not good to be wise in our own eyes. Our wisdom comes from Jesus Christ, from the Holy Spirit, from the Word of God we know and apply in our lives. When the righteous rejoice, there is a great glory. But when the wicked arise, men hide themselves. Yes, that's so true. 
He who covers his sins will not prosper, but whoever confesses and forsakes them will have mercy. Yes, you know, it doesn't matter here. Who covers sin will not prosper. So, if there is an area that you cannot prosper, then you are, it says, like, the other words, if you have, uh, you're not prospering in your soul, spirit, and body, then you need to search yourself. Whoever confesses, that then means you, the, who, who does not prosper, he who covers his sins, cover his sins, so, so not admitting, yeah, but he is who here. But whoever confesses and forsakes them will have mercy. Whoever, you know, like we walk, that's why it's said search, search you daily, search your heart daily. Uh, you staying in the word, how word, word of God is working in your life. So we need to search ourselves daily, every day, and stay pure, our heart. So, and then the Holy Spirit will uh, encourage us to confess our transgressions. And God, mm, Jesus, us, mm, he's a advocate he will intercede for us and he washes her and forsake them confess that it was wrong and forsake them that means you need to leave it leave it aside happy is the man who is always rever uh, reverent but he who hardens his heart will fall into the calamity hardens his heart uh, so hardening heart, that's mean being, uh, if somebody's rebuking you, or somebody's, uh, you know, giving you, uh, giving you this instruction. If somebody sees the way how, uh, you know, you walk, uh, not uprightly, somebody's, you know, came in and um, give you advice or rebuke you or, or, you know, encourage you not to do that. And you harden, will fall into calamity. So don't ever hardening heart, is, it's, a, it's a very dangerous uh, state uh, of your life to be or face. Like a roaring lion and a changing bear is a wicked ruler over poor people. That's exactly, that's, 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 that was Stalin, that was uh, roaring lion or charging bear, wicked ruler. It's, uh, and we just pray that Lord prevent us uh, and our country to not to have that kind of ruler in Jesus' name. That's why it's a, a spirit scripture encourages us to pray for our rulers, pray for our presidents, for senate, for parliaments, for people who represents your government. A ruler who who lacks understanding is a great oppressor, but he who hates covetousness will prolong his days. It speaks for itself. A man burdened with the bloodshed will flee into a pit. Let no one help him. Whoever walks blamelessly will be saved, but he who, who is perverse in his way will suddenly fall. See, he who, fill, who, who tills his land will have plenty of bread, but he who follows free, frivo, uh, frivolity will have poverty enough. So, uh, hardworking, you know. A person who is not trying to taking advantage of everything, not working, but but the diligence and diligence and and thanking God what you have and working and being good steward will uh, have plenty of bread. Says here, a faithful man will abound with blessings, but he who hastens to be rich will not go unpunished. So hastens to be rich. Uh, so uh, blessings of the Lord. Blessings of the Lord will come. He said, a faithful man will abound with blessings. Faithful to the Lord. Faithful. Uh, thankful to the Lord. Faithful what, what is what he's doing what and being faithful what is giving to him a little. Uh, uh, you were faithful in little. I will put you on the big things, the Lord says. So, but when you hasten in your goal is only to be rich, will be unpunished. Will not go unpunished, yeah? To show partiality is not good, because for a piece of bread, a man will transgress. Yes. He who rebukes a man will find more favor afterwards than he who flatters with his tongue. Yes. When you rebuke a man, when you see a person going and you know that it's a dangerous road to go, and you go and you rebuke a man, will find the favor. The person will come and say, thank you. You prevented, you, you told me that I wasn't agree then, I didn't like that, but now I see. 
Thank you. So this has happened all the time. Whoever robs his father or his mother and says it is no transgression, the same is companion to a destroyer. Who is destroyer? Satan is a destroyer. He came to destroy, kill, steal, and destroy. You cannot, you don't want to be a destroyer, so who robs his father or his mother? So you need to honor your father and mother. You help your father and mother. You, you be there for them. He who, or who, he who is of proud heart stirs up strife, but he who trusts in the Lord will be prospered. So prideful, prideful. As a person that he, they think this, they're only right, and you are the wrong, and I'm going to do my way. There's only my way, no way. The person who doesn't hear other person, who, uh, who just you know, stirs up the strife, but who trusts, who will be prospered? Do you want to be prospered? Trust in the Lord and be prosper. The, the, the word of God is fulfills its works in your life. He who trusts in his own heart is full. So out of heart all the, de all the, all the deceitful things, out of heart all the, all the ugly things ha happens. So, but whoever walks wisely will be delivered wisely in, in, in the word of God, in kindness of God, in love of God. The, who, he who gives to the poor will not lack, yeah? but he who hides his eyes will have many curses. Yeah, so if you see uh, somebody that more poor, more help, just helping people, it's, you will have no luck on, in everything. Yeah? When the wicked arise, men hide themselves, but when they perish, the righteous increase. increase. Yes, and let's just see that, let Pray for our president. Let's pray our government that the, the God will give them uh, wisdom to rule this country, so that we will we want to rejoice and the righteous will increase. This is our. Uh, this is actually 28. Today is the 29th. I was going to read the 29th, but I opened accidentally 28. Proverbs 28. Read daily, every day, the wisdom and be blessed. Thank you for watching. Hallelujah. God loves you very much. Amen.